This is Patrick at Digital Vision, and we're going to have a look at uh, how we can customize the tangent mapping on Phoenix and on Yokota. I'm first going to start by loading the map application. I have a handy little tool here called Desk Pin, which allows me to keep the mapper on the, on the top level, uh, since I only have one screen. I'm going to load the Nucoda software, uh, obviously exactly the same with Phoenix. And I'm just going to keep the mapper in the middle here. As soon as Nucoda boots or Phoenix boots up, you'll see that the mappings appear. And these are the default mappings. So the way that this works is every single tool in Nucoda and Phoenix is a mode. So these are our modes up here. And we have a whole lot of them because we have a lot of tools. Down here towards the end we've got the DVO tools and up on the other end we've got color tools, the Kia and so forth. So what we're going to do, you'll see at the moment the mapping controls is the default controls. And what we're going to do is we're going to maybe change the sensitivity of the balance controls. So I'm going to go to the balance tool and I've got button one, the knobs, the trackballs, button two and the multifunction panel over here. What I'm going to do is go to the trackballs and you'll see over here we've got X and Y position for the three balls and then we also have the Z or Z position depending on uh, your pronunciation currently set to fine. Now I'm going to select the uh, button over there and what I'm going to do is just open this up and you'll see that we have a whole lot of uh, controls that we can map. The one with the tick mark is the trackball and I can go and choose whether I would like to do this as fine or just as normal. Now if I set this to normal what I'm going to get is slightly bigger increments in uh, the steps when I move the uh, move the, the ring. So I'm going to leave it on fine for now. It's not something I really want to change. What I might want to do, however, is let's have a look on something like the blur tool. So on blur, I've merely got one control, which is the blur size. I'm going to click on that and at the moment it is set to coarse. In other words, if I turn the turn the knob, it's going to move fairly quickly. Now, if I want to make that uh, less coarse, what I need to do is click on the little uh, uh, head there and move it to where I want it. If I simply click like this, there's a small bug in the mapper software that won't actually remember that you've done it. So move it to where you want it to and when you're done simply go and save the file. Now as soon as you save the file you're going to be prompted to give it a new name because this is now a modification of the original file. Now this is also how you would have multiple users. Any person can go and map this any way they want to and they would simply go and change the uh, user in the management. They would select a different user and simply press select uh, when they want to use those particular defaults. When we introduce new tools, like we have in the, in the latest version, what you will find is that we will create new mappings with those tools. If you have your own custom mapping, you might find uh, that you will or you will find that you, those tools will not be mapped automatically but they will be there for you to map if you wanted to so in this case for example we've added um, a new tool in DVO called regrain RGB and those tools if you are not using the default mapper you would have to go and map those yourself but it does allow you to keep your current mappings